get enough vitamin B today? All kinds? To be or not? You definitely should. Without enough B12 and folate, for example, you can become tired, weak, constipated or depressed. And that's just one of the kinds of vitamin B you need. For a big hit of vitamin B12, try clams or beef liver. Vitamin B6. Without enough of this B vitamin, you may get sick more often and feel depressed or confused. You may also get scaly, cracked lips. You only need a small amount of it each day. And most of us get that. If you want to make sure your best bets are chickpeas, tuna, and surprise beef liver. B1, thiamine. Your body may not absorb enough of this if you often have more than a few drinks. Without it, you may have weaknesses, fatigue, and even brain damage. It can also lead to psychosis. So get your vitamin B1, thiamine, enriched rice, trot, and black beans are good sources. B2, riboflavin. Most Americans get plenty of riboflavin, that's a good thing because a serious lack of it can damage your liver and nervous system. For the most per bite, eat a big plate of beef liver. Milk, yogurt and beef are good second choices. There are also plants that can provide the B2 you need. The good sources of uh, B2 in plant-based are quinoa, muesli, and fortified vegan breakfast cereals. And uh, don't forget avocado or wild rice. Both are rich sources of uh, B2, B2 riboflavin. B3, niacin. Niacin helps your digestion, skin, and nose work the way they should. It also helps change um, food to energy. You can get it from milk, eggs, rice, and fish, but don't overdo it. Too much can cause liver damage, peptic ulcers, and skin rashes. B7, biotin. A lack of B7 can lead to skin rashes, hair loss, high cholesterol, and heart problems. You can find it in a cauliflower, salmon, carrots, bananas, soy flour, cereals, and yeast. Folic acid, folate. This is an important member of the uh, vitamin B family, especially if you're pregnant, because it can help prevent certain birth defects. Folic acid is the lab version of folate, which is naturally found in fruits. Whip up some spinach and black-eyed peas to get some in your diet. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe for more informative videos. Thank you.